Good to hear occasionally from uh, what I think is the remaining member of the Labour right wing. Well, th says he is. Says he is in Napier, probably says something else differently down here, Mr Speaker. Uh, and I think what it reflects is wish... I think that, that discussion reflects the wishful thinking of the opposition. They wish, when they were reviewing the finances here, they wish that they could say uh, the national-led government is a nasty, cutting, uncaring government. They wish that they could say the regions are struggling and getting nowhere. Well, they're saying it. They wish it was the case. But I detected, even from that remaining member of the Labor right wing, uh, with due respect to Trevor Mallard, who's starting to look like he's a member of the Labor right wing, although he didn't used to be, but relatively speaking, without moving anywhere, he's, he's starting to look really quite conservative. Um, Order. Uh, now I've lost my train of thought. Yes. <laughs> but none of those things are correct. Of course, very little of what the member for Napier said is actually, in fact, none of it was correct. Actually, while there are some of the regions are under some pressure, uh, I can think of Southland, my own spiritual home, uh, where GDP in the year to March 2015 dropped by 10% because of the slowdown in dairy conversions and the drop in the dairy prices. Uh, actually, most regions are doing pretty well uh, because of the increasing diversification of the New Zealand economy. And in this year, 2015, the government invested substantial more amounts of money uh, into the kind of innovation and research that doesn't replace the entrepreneurialism of our companies, but, uh, but supports it, uh, which is one of the differences, I think, uh, between the government and the opposition parties. The fundamental driver of the kind of growth that they'd like to see, that we'd like to see, are people taking risks with their own money, with their own money and succeeding because of their skills and uh, reinvesting the profits that arise from that success. Whereas the opposition parties look through this kind of document and what they want to see is politicians who they regard as smarter than uh, the people who run our businesses making decisions about, in detail, about where the economy should go, what risks should be taken and what risks shouldn't be taken. Now, these things don't always, uh, the kind of investment that the government's made through here in innovation and research uh, and development don't always show a direct flow through to profitability, but they certainly have created an environment where a uh, building on work, to be fair, done by the previous Labor government, where New Zealand businesses are much more orientated now towards uh, spending a bit of money on research and development, enhancing their productivity, uh, and in the long run, therefore, uh, producing uh, producing more jobs. There's been some issues raised around... Well, actually, there's another member who's starting to look like the right wing of the Labor Party, although he entered it on the left, uh, because Damien um, O'Connor needs some company, that Mr Phil, Phil Twyford. And by, by right by right wing, I just mean vaguely logical. That's all I mean, is vaguely logical. About but vaguely logical. Uh, so, and it's good to see that he's paying some attention uh, to that. Uh, so, Mr Speaker, per, uh, some questions have been raised about per capita income. Uh, that is a legitimate measure of progress, and like other measures of the economy, it fluctuates. And more recently, because of the surge in migration, which is at decade, many decade highs, and a, a relatively slower growing national income, largely influenced by the drop in dairy prices, uh, then the per capita measure has dropped back a bit. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Uh, and of course, as migration flattens off and comes back, which it almost, which it certainly will, it's just a matter of when that happens, and dairy prices pick up again, uh, all other things being equal, per, pack, per capita incomes will tend to rise. Uh, in this world, across the developed world of low growth, uh, low inflation and low interest rates, it is a significant challenge to have consistently increasing uh, per capita incomes, but the outlook for New Zealand in that respect is pretty positive. Fletcher Tabitho. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you.